Hi, this is Shelley Kraft, and welcome to SNN Live. We're at the Biotech Showcase 2012, and we are in San Francisco. I have Dr. Eric Von Hofer from Antigen Express, Inc., symbol GNBT. It's a publicly traded company. I want to welcome you to SNN Live. Thank you, Shelley. Thanks for having me here. Now, let's get right into the Antigen Express science. Mm-hmm. So the science of Antigen Express is on active immunotherapy of cancer. So what that means is that what we're doing is activating the immune system to, on its own, combat and kill cancer cells. Now, I've heard this, I don't know how many times, Mm -hmm. in the last couple of days, what separates what you're doing from everyone else? So what we're doing is we have a platform technology whereby we can specifically and potently stimulate what are known as CD4 T helper cells. So this is a cell type that's very important for combating uh, cancer and any new uh, type of infection that one may uh, uh, acquire in the body. So this is probably the the really distinguishing feature in addition to the fact that um, uh, we're doing it in a way that uh, other people simply have not. We have a compound that is very potent, very active, it's a synthetic, off-the-shelf compound, so very easy to use, very robust, and I think that's probably, in a nutshell, what, uh, what distinguishes us. So what can we expect to have for patients, and this is breast-oriented? Correct. So this is patients that have had breast cancer. Uh, in this population, between 18 and 20 percent relapse after two to three years. So what we're doing is adding on to the standard of care therapy our uh, therapeutic uh, vaccine, basically, to prevent relapse in those patients. So these are patients that basically have nothing else. It's, it's a waiting game. Uh, our peptide is, is very non-toxic, very good safety profile. So that's something that a patient can have that will significantly, uh, has a good chance of knocking down their, um, uh, their incidence of relapse. So this protein, so to speak, mm-hmm. is synthetic protein, which is a peptide. Uh, you're actually going to be able to administer a treatment to that patient, which will, I guess, What you're testing is to see how efficacious it will be in the long term. Exactly, exactly. So we have, we just released interim data uh, at the end of last year showing a very, uh, very impressive uh, increase in the number of patients that have not relapsed that have uh, received our vaccine. So this is a controlled, randomized phase two study. Uh, We're expecting the final results to read out probably the middle of this year. So what we have so far is very promising and sort of hard to, to see how this, uh, how this could fail the end of phase two. Where are you doing the tests? So this is a trial that is at uh, 14 different sites, both in the U.S. and Europe. Uh, so we currently have over 200 patients enrolled, uh, going up to a total of, of 300. Uh, the, the trial will probably continue out while we're doing the phase three. So just so we have you know, more patients for uh, efficacy response and also for safety. Now, what's your background? So my background is uh, I'm a PhD in uh, pathology. Uh, My career has been in cancer research. Uh, So this is something that's particularly exciting for me. I've I've been in the field for over 20, 30 years now. It's pretty clear that uh, chemotherapy has very important for, for cancer treatment, but it's pretty much plateaued in terms of the way one can, uh, what can expect from it. I mean, there's always the, the problem of resistance of cancer, they always relapse. Stimulate the immune system is one thing where you can very specifically go after the cancer, you can, and you can have a treatment which then lasts for a long time once the medication's gone. So you've, you've stimulated the immune system, actually go out and always be policing for cancer cells should they arise. You know, it sounds like you're establishing leadership with this new platform. Well, I, th- I think in, in all honesty, I mean, there's been a lot of hard work. So there's been a lot of work both in uh, basic research uh, to simply explain things, to, to establish how the immune system works. Uh, it's been a difficult 10 years. So uh, there have been a number of failures early on the last decade. Uh, we're starting to see that turn around. Uh, we hung in there. Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, we're starting to see, see the fruits bear in this field. Uh, monoclonal antibodies are something which had a similar type of trajectory in terms of their uh, acceptance in in oncology. The beginning was difficult, there were a number of failures, now it's very common and it's certainly part of standard of care. I think in the next 10 years, I think active immunotherapy will be in the same position where monoclonal antibodies are now in the clinic. If you had to have your wish fulfilled for 2012, what would it be? 
So our wish for 2012 is to have the final statistical significance on our phase two study, uh, be able to begin our phase three study, and, and move forward there, get, these, get the trials on as soon as possible so that we can get the, a compound out there um, in registration trials and to the patients. For you viewers, obviously, Antigen Express is a company you would want to follow. Let's give the website out. It's uh, www.antigenexpress.com. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all of our lives are affected by people with cancer, particularly breast cancer. So please go to the website, monitor the results that this company is having. And if anybody has any questions, call in, write in, get information and start to monitor all of the developments that we're bringing to you on some of these, company, these companies that are coming along with great science. I want to thank you so much for coming on. Thank you very much, Sean. And, and I want to wish you luck. Thank so, ladies and gentlemen, much. Antigen Express, Inc., and it's a public company as well, symbol GNBT. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shelley. You're welcome.